Hi, and welcome to the Post Acute Point of View, our discussion hub for healthcare technology in the out of hospital space. Here we talk about the latest news and views on trends and innovation that can impact the way post acute care providers work. And we take a look at how technology can make a difference in today's changing healthcare landscape in both home based and facility based care organizations and the lives of the people they serve. Today we hear from Mauricio Hermosillo, product manager at Matrix Care, and his special guest. Let's dive in. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Post Acute Point of View podcast. Hi, this is uh, Mauricio Hermosillo. I'm the product manager at Matrix Care. And I want to thank you all for joining us today. Today we have a very special guest, Stacy Dobson, who's currently the CFO at United Methodist Retirement Homes. And he's here to discuss managing financials in a post-acute care. So with that, let's get started. Stacy, thank you so much for being part of this podcast. If you don't mind, I'll just throw some softballs. And if you can maybe take us a little bit of, to the beginning, tell your audience a little bit of your origin story, uh, maybe a little bit of your early career, and maybe what took you to your current position at UMRH. Sure. Thanks for having me. I started at UMRH in uh, 1997 as a construction accountant. It was shortly after that that we began working with what was then Answers on Demand. Barry Scatillo was the original principal, and he came and visited us here and sold the product to us. And we had the implementers that were Don Frazier and Aaron Sokolo. Um, and I'm dating myself there, but um, <laughs> we installed in uh, 1997, and we've been using it ever since. Since then, I have become assistant controller to controller and now to CFO for the last 15 years. Wow. Congratulations on, on the journey and sticking with us for somewhere around 24 years, which is not a small feat, especially with having to work with the likes of uh, James Good Enough and, and so on and so forth. I, I commend you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you probably work with, like said, a lot of people throughout the time. Just for the folks listening, we have close to 71 years of combined experience currently on the Enterprise Financials team. A lot of those folks have worked with Stacy on and off through the years and different products. So for whatever reason, people like to stick around the company and uh, they've been gracious enough to help us with enterprise financials and hopefully provide good service. So that's outstanding. With that said, if you can share a little bit of, of what your experience has been working with us in terms of longevity and, and just overall anything you would like to share with us. Yeah, it's been great. The software from the beginning was, was much better than what we had um, when we started, when I started the guy that closed the general ledger actually had to spend the night in the office, sleep on the couch and change the big magnetic tapes that were size of pizzas. And um, <laughs> now, you know, we press a button and we're done in just a few seconds. So um, it's come a long ways. E even the product itself over the years has really progressed. Um, one of the things that we like to say is if, if the product, at least around here, that you're not allowed to badmouth this software. And that's mostly because if the product doesn't do something, the software doesn't do something, that doesn't mean it can't do it. Uh, over the years, we've had lots of opportunities to recommend enhancements and, and you guys listen and have made those changes. And a lot of the customizations have come from not only us, but other customers, I'm sure. But we were actually on the phone today talking about a, another enhancement that we just realized existed that over the last 24 years, we didn't know existed. So um, and we were excited to introduce that to the rest of the staff. So it's gone from something what was more of a seemed to be more of a DOS based version into something that's uh, web based and web hosted and much more user friendly. Outstanding. Certainly a, a robust product and a lot there to, Absolutely. Uh, to offer. And maybe that'll take me to my next question. Is there any areas of the software that you use more than others or do you use it in general quite a bit? I don't know if you have any examples or, or want to share with us maybe capital projects, payroll, because it's, it's a pretty robust and pretty wide product. So I don't know if you'd like to share any of uh, the modules you use the most or what you've seen most helpful and maybe what has been able to solve some problems or, or pain points that you've had throughout the years. Sure. We began using it because it was all inclusive and there was we didn't necessarily need other software. So a lot of the other products at the time were didn't really cover every aspect of the needs that we had as an industry. And so we use just about every module. Me personally, I don't have to, but 
focusing on enterprise financials. We use accounts payable. We're in admissions and census a lot. And of course, first and third billing and residential billing. We use capital projects, general ledger, payroll, fixed assets, trust fund. Those are the, those are the ones we're basically in. We uh, use the amortization retail tracker and things like that on a, on a monthly, weekly, daily basis. If you wanted specifics, capital projects is one that we've talked about over the years that doesn't get a lot of attention, but is one that has really saved us a ton of time. We began using spreadsheets years ago to track our capital projects with basically typing in the general ledger detail onto a spreadsheet and allocating each line item to a specific project on a different column within that spreadsheet, which over the course of time would be thousands of lines. And we realized that you had a capital projects module that we could use and began using that as opposed to trying to keep everything up with the spreadsheet. And it has been fantastic. We used to have capital projects in four different companies. And now we have merged those four different companies into one single company and are able to utilize one company instead of four to maintain what is currently about 150 open projects. Wow. And that's the, the biggest benefit is, is obviously consolidation. You have one single place to look at your information. And does that translate into save man hours, if you will, headaches, maybe some uh, less uh, uh, hours of extra time? Tons and tons of time. Manually doing a spreadsheet and keying in the GL detail before you added the ability for us to export the uh, GL detail, we were manually keying that. And it saved hours and hours of time. It makes it easier at audit time to just print a specific project detail, uh, provide that to an auditor, let them hand select the invoices they want for that project. When it comes time to close that project, we just simply print the detail, pull the invoices and capitalize that project. Much simpler. We do use a different accounts payable software that works in conjunction with Matrix Care called CoreCentric. It's a paperless workflow software for our accounts payable that has a hierarchy tree that allows us to route invoices and go through approval trees and ultimately spits out a report that is imported into Matrix Care that we use the load invoice feature and it generates the register. We review the register. It automatically posts to the capital projects, which is why we merged one company, four companies into one company for capital projects. And uh, we export that paid detail out of Matrix Care back into CoreCentric to show the payment process. What we recently added and became effective today was we actually can bring the image as well into Matrix Care, which is amazing. We were able to work with CoreCentric to provide the URL within the import file. And now when we go into matrix pair and click on a link that's associated with a specific invoice, we can actually go straight to the image of the invoice on the internet, which is a huge game changer for us. Yeah, I would think so. Especially in this time and age where remote work seems to be more prevalent, whether by choice or not, and, and having the ability to almost get away from paper and be able to like I said, look at images and invoices from wherever you are, I would think that's a huge boost and a boon for, for your organization. So, Yes, it's great that Matrix Care can partner with other providers to enhance their own product. And it's something that we're very happy with. Excellent. Very happy to hear that. You mentioned something with the parts of the software modules that sometimes are not necessarily exploited or used to, to their maximum capabilities, if you will. One of them was probably fixed assets. Do you have any, any experience in how it works for you? We have a different, uh, we use a different module for or each company. And we have upwards of 8,000 assets within one company on the high end and in the corporate office, maybe a couple of hundred. We've also used the module to help with maybe amortizing bond issuance costs and other things just to eliminate having to use a spreadsheet or post a journal entry which has been acceptable on an audit level and allows us to uh, streamline some of the processes instead of doing manual work. We also utilize the picture aspect of the module and import pictures of the assets and attach them to them so it's easier to identify them. We use RFID tags, radio frequency identification tags, and assign those tags to each asset and as the equipment ID number 
and uh, that allows us to track them and dispose of them on an easier basis as well. Oh, very interesting. If I could maybe switch gears a little bit. I think you also use our payroll. Do you have any, any thoughts or any, anything you'd like to share with payroll, how many employees you may have and uh, maybe how long you've been using it? We'll issue about a thousand W-2s at the end of the year, beginning of the year. On a day-to-day basis, we have more around 600 employees. We've been using the payroll software since late 90s, maybe the early 2000s. Back in the day, we refused to pay the bill because the a month into cruel wouldn't reverse. That's how long ago it was. Um, <laughs> and we get approached weekly, maybe offering up ADP or some other payrolls process or service. And it just doesn't make sense. The software is, is seamless. Payroll process for 600 people, running it within four different companies takes only a few hours. And that's with some people working on one end and using the time tracker software, which has also been very helpful. And it integrates with Matrix Care seamlessly. So we've never had a need or a desire to go elsewhere with payroll. We've never thought about it. If there was something that we felt like it couldn't do or if we didn't understand, we've always had Judy Samet and Pavlina to help. And they've been great and, and they've been around forever. And the beauty of payroll is, is that they understand that when you need something, you really need it. And they are Johnny on the spot. and in an emergency, they will call you immediately to help you with that process or that issue that you might be having. So we've just never had a problem with it and it does everything we want it to do. And we are very complex with multiple levels of time off and multiple tiers of vesting of the time off. The group term life function works well when you integrate it with the human resources module. There's just as complex as we are, you were still able to and are still able to handle every need that we've had with payroll. Thanks, Stacey. That's pretty good and great to hear. Uh, what about general ledger? I know this, uh, as you compare products or, or talk about financial suites, it seems to be a, a given, but recently we've developed some new features and added a little bit more capabilities to that. I think you've had some opportunity to play around with these. Do you have any thoughts on, on new features, maybe things that you've seen positive or have helped in any way in the organization around general ledger lately? I do. I I would combine in my world, now you're right in my wheelhouse, in my office when we talk about general ledger. So with general ledger, I, in conjunction with that is our ODBCs, open database connections, and another ancillary software that we use in conjunction with matrix care, Vena. And so the combination of those three has unlimited power. You guys are constantly changing and asking and and trying to improve the product. I got an email today from Jim about the payroll budgeting process. I think you were on the call that we talked about how we do payroll and uh, the budget process. And there's a lot of listening going on about what we need as an end user, as a client, and you're responding to that. And so the print financial statements, standard financial statements, The logic behind that is very similar to Vena, which is a cube-based software that's based out of Excel and is super powerful, especially in conjunction with Matrix Care. The monthly close has been so much better going through the check process, letting you know if a module's not closed or if your journal entries don't balance or if you need to repost. It's a foolproof process at this point where it won't allow you to make a mistake. The do to do from entries we use are save us time, help us make sure that we're not reconciling. Even I've used the software for 24 years and Judy Samet told me last month or last year, a shortcut using do to do froms that have saved me a ton of time because I just didn't think of it. So we've over the years have suggested enhancements to that. One of the ones we can't lay claim to is the paste feature from Excel. We use that a lot. When we use our open database connections, which is basically an extraction from AOD into a spreadsheet in a table format, and then you can access that table using lookups or some ifs and generate your own set of roll forwards or reconciliations or whatever you want to use them for. We have literally hundreds of ODBCs that we're using. We set up our journal entries. If they happen to be on a spreadsheet or reconciliations on a spreadsheet, it generates its own journal entry on that spreadsheet. And then we can just copy that and paste it into Matrix Care and it will post the journal entry for us. 
that in some cases over 300 lines on one of our journal entries. And in the past, I used to have to key those, which is why you actually have the copy feature because I was tired of keying 300 lines and asked if you could add the copy feature. So, and then we would just change the amounts, but then somebody smarter than me came up with the idea of using Excel and copying and pasting into that, which has saved us a tremendous amount of time. And it allows us to copy in the comments as well. And we utilize the comments section in the journal entries to import that into Excel through the open database connections and utilize that to kind of customize our ODBC connections and what information we may want to extract. So we literally have reconciliations and roll forwards that are automated. They do themselves. All we have to do is refresh them in Excel, utilizing the ODBC, the journal entry comments, and all the features that are available to us through the software. Wow, I can't believe that. You, you went through all that manual keying effort, like I'm just picturing your your <laughs> your, uh, your fingertips just bleeding after a while. I, I kid you not. It was it was over 300 uh, lines. Still is. Still is over 300 lines for a what I believe is a monthly, maybe a quarterly journal entry. So saved us a ton of time. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad it's working out. And, you know, we always certainly appreciate and you've always been very graceful and, and willing with your time and the way you guys run your organization, it's, it's extremely complex. Every time we think we understand what's going on, you, you kind of open the kimono, if you will, and we're like, oh, we're, we're, we're scratching the surface. Once you walk us through how uh, your organization works and the intricacies and complexities, we're always just a gas of, of how you keep everything straight and everything working. And it's certainly gives us a lot of input and ideas on how we can make the product better. But we're always very thankful for your time and sharing your ideas and your thoughts on how we can improve the product. So it's, it's good to hear that we're able to facilitate or at least alleviate some of the pain points that you have to go through. It's a, um, it's a great partnership. It really is. Um, and that's the way I look at it is, you know, we're, we're both out to serve the resident and to and do that in the most efficient, cost effective way we can. And the fact that you're interested in what we're interested in shows that you care about the product and about the end result. And, you know, it, it could be a resident, it could be a resident finance committee, it could be a, a bondholder, it could be an executive director on, on our end, it could be an auditor who use reports straight out of your system. We don't have to modify and give them special reports. If they want something, they literally ask for the blank, blank report out of your matrix care system. So the product is, has been customized over the year to make our lives better and make our jobs easier. And we're very thankful for the continuous relationship and really the continuous personnel that you've kept. And that just that speaks volumes for your corporation, what it's like to work there and the dedication that you have on your end. I know that we worked with Jim and Judy for close to 20 years. And, uh, and others as well. Yeah, we certainly are a, a good bunch of people and, and very dedicated. Everybody wants to see our clients succeed and, and make their lives easier. And, and then just, yeah, certainly take a lot of pride on the product and the work. And we're always very happy when you guys are happy and that we, like I said, it's a partnership, a collaboration. And uh, when we're all firing in all cylinders, it, we can come up with some pretty neat things. Stacey, is there any, anything else you would like to add? Anything that comes to mind? We've helped in any way, whether it's sort of a, a, a huge pain point or just in general, how technology has helped you maybe advance maybe your organization's mission, right? Maybe hopefully we give you and your staff a little more time to focus on more important things. If you have any thoughts around that, if not, that's, that's okay as well. I think uh, you've been extremely gracious with your feedback and your time with us so far. So. I'll leave it at that for now. You know, I would say that it's just great to work with a product that's so user-friendly. I don't think there's any product out there that's better. I know you're the leader in your industry. And then the one thing we're looking at now that we, that we plan to speak with you in the future with is what seems to be trending is RPA, which is uh, robotic process automation, which allows you to work with an outside vendor. That's another thing we're looking at that we hope to discuss with you in the future. So we're very pleased with the product, have no intention of going anywhere else and um, look forward to many, many more years with Matrix Care. Absolutely. The future is bright and exciting. There's still a lot left for us to explore. And we certainly look to this continued partnership and 
Stacey, I just want to thank you for your time. You've been, again, very kind with your feedback and taking time out of your day to speak to me. With this, I would like to thank everybody for joining us for another episode of the Post-Acute Point of View podcast. We had a great topic, managing financials and post-acute care. And uh, I want to thank Stacy again for sharing his insight with us. And uh, we'd like to thank everybody. That concludes the latest episode of the Post-Acute Point of View from Matrix Care. We have a lot of guests and topics coming up that you won't want to miss, so be sure to subscribe. If you've enjoyed today's podcast, and if you have a topic you'd like us to discuss, leave us a review. To learn more about Matrix Care and our solutions and services, visit matrixcare.com. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you for listening. Be well, and we'll see you next time.